Hello everyone. In this video, I'll cover the setup of status badge of a pipeline in Azure DevOps repository. So starting with what is status badge? So it is a visual representation which displays the current status of the pipeline in your repository. And there are multiple benefits of using this status badge. So first of all, it provides more visibility so that the team which have access to your repository knows so what is the current status of your CI/CD pipeline? It provides more collaboration and the real-time updates so that the developer team who is developing the code knows when to connect with the developer team in case the pipeline fails. In short, it provides more visibility and transparency in the DevOps process so that multiple teams are aware about their current status or the real-time updates of your Azure pipeline. So let's start with setting up this in Lamb. I'm logged into Azure DevOps now and I am in the project Demo DevOps. I have created one repository for this purpose. It's an empty repository. As you can see, there is only readme file, which is the standard readme file when you create a new repository. And there are no pipelines right now. Let's first create a sample pipeline using the repository which we have created. Create pipeline, Azure repos get, new repo is the name and it's a starter pipeline. Just few basic changes I'll do. In the trigger, I'll just set it up as none. That means if there are any changes in the repository, the pipeline should not trigger. And for the pool, instead of the Ubuntu, I want to use the Windows image. Rest everything is fine, save and run. This is a very basic pipeline which just echoes to text. Pipeline has started. Everything. It's just a basic sample pipeline. So now the purpose here is to show the status badge. It will go to the pipeline. Let's go to the pipeline. Click on new repo. So this is the pipeline. And on this page, it shows the different runs. Here it only ran once. So it's just showing a single run. Let's click on three dots, status badge. So right now, as you can see, the Azure pipeline is succeeding. So now what you have to do is just go to the sample markdown and copy this. Now, close it, go to the repository, and in the readme, edit the readme, and in the top, add this text. Commit, commit. And now it shows the pipeline succeeded, which shows the current status of the latest run. So let's go back to the pipeline. And let's make some changes so that this pipeline should fail. And the reason is we just want to see if the pipeline fails, whether the same thing is updated into the repository or not. So just change the spelling of echo, validate and save. But now because the trigger is none, so the pipeline will not trigger. So we have to run it manually. Now let's click on the job. It's acquiring the agent from the cloud and soon the pipeline will start. So pipeline started now, setting up the initial environment, running a one-liner and here it should fail because the echo, uh, there is a problem with the echo command. So now let's go back to our repository and here you can see this pipeline has failed. So every time your pipeline will run, your developer team or the different users who have access to this repository they don't need to check the pipeline status. They can come to the repository and check the, whether the pipeline ran successfully or not. And the same thing can be done in the GitHub too. In the pipeline, if we'll go to the pipeline, now there are two runs. In the status badge, it's showing us fail. If we'll copy the sample markdown from here and paste the same way in the readme file of the GitHub, it will work exactly the same way like it's working or Azure DevOps repo. So if you want your repositories to show this current status of your pipeline, then you can just quickly update them with the status badge. And that's all for this video. This was a very short video and I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.